Hello YouTube, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. Welcome to Get Your Sax Together. On this video, I'm gonna open up my sax case and we're gonna look at all the bits and bobs I've got inside. So I'm out on the road at the moment with wet, wet, wet. So I thought we'd do something a bit different for today's video. So I'm gonna open up the sax case and we'll have a look at all the little bits and bobs I've got inside. And there'll be a free PDF that you can download with a list of all the stuff in case you wanna pick up any little bits and bobs. If you're enjoying the channel, please do subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. So let's get on with it and see what's inside my sax case. Okie dokes people, let's have a little look what is in my sax case. Let's do it. Well, first of all, I have a BAM, B-A-M sax case, which I like because it's got this big front pocket section and actually you can unzip it and it telescopes out, look, to become absolutely massive. And I can get clarinet, flute, I can get all my doubling woodwind instruments in there, so that's a pretty cool feature. I've never put it in the hold of an airplane, and I wouldn't like to, but, you know, it's pretty solid. Right, let's have a look inside the case. Dun, dun, dun. So, what we got? First thing we have, obviously, is my Selma Mark VI tenor saxophone. Look at this beauty McGintos. So this is serial number 227,032, which is one of the last Mark VI's to be made in the 70s. So it is a late Mark VI. In the top, as an end cap, I use this champagne cork, which actually fits perfectly in the end of your tenor sax. Then inside the bell, I have this BG crook bag. Now the reason I like this one is because you can fit the whole crook and the mouthpiece on it in the one bag. So I've got a Rovner Versa ligature, which I love, and you can see it's got these kind of section like that inside it, which is supposed to let the reed vibrate more. Many people have posted things online about how ligatures don't matter and all that, and I kind of agree, but I really, like this one, so that's what I use. The mouthpiece that I use, an Autolink Supertone Master called the Florida model. Now, if I could get in on it, you'd see that it says USA on there. That is the distinguishing feature. And you can look up online and geek out about what it is. So yeah, I find it extremely versatile mouthpiece. I can use it for anything. So, got my Mark VI, got my Florida Link. What else we got in the case? So this is my Snark tuner that you can clip onto the instrument and then using the vibration from your instrument it tells you if you're in tune or not despite if there's loads of other noise going on which is absolutely fantastic if you're playing in a section and you want to know if your note is in tune. That is an absolute game changer. So that's my Snark tuner. Right, let's come around here and see what else is in here. So. This is my sling. I like to use a sling that goes over my shoulder like a harness because it takes all the weight off my neck. And that is a BG. This is my reed case. Now you can have up to eight reeds from any horn in here. Now that is a humidifying pouch, which means that the reeds don't dry out in the case. And it keeps them nice and flat on this thing. I'll put the brand of that one down in the description because I can't remember off the top of my head. And once I finish the gig, the reeds always go straight back in the case, not just kept on the mouthpiece. I've got two main swabs. This is a body swab, which you literally just put through the top of the instrument. It comes out the bell and you pull through and it swabs out the whole inside of the instrument. And this is the swab for my neck and mouthpiece, which is a PGA31. Now the reason I like it is because the string on it is kind of stiff, so it's easy to push through the neck, whereas the classic sort of clarinet pull through is a bit more difficult to operate. It's got that little kink, so it bends round. And it folds up nicely, and that is what I use to swab out my neck and mouthpiece. Right, now we move on to the real exciting part, which is the pencil case of doom. Woo! Dun, dun, dun. Now I'm gonna have to put that up on a surface to pull things out one by one, because there's absolutely loads in here. Hang on. Number one, spare 
next strap, I've got three different tapes. This tape is microporous tape, which I use for taping up parts. This one is waterproof plumbing tape, and that is excellent for putting round the neck cork to make it bigger if your mouthpiece is too big. Or it's also good for the tenon join between the neck and the main body of the instrument. When it gets wet, it doesn't all rot as if you're using paper. This is just plain old electrical tape, which might come in handy on gigs or mending things or keeping things together. Now, most saxophonists will recognize this. This is my Reed Geek tool, and it's got a little pouch bag thing that goes with it as well. This is what you might call the stationary section. This is a 6B pencil. Lovely and soft. A pleasure to mark up parts with. I've also got a nice big fat version of that. I think that's a 6B as well. With the rubber on the end, eraser on the end. Got a nice big red sharpie for marking in signs and codas. And then I've got the whiteout pen, Tipex, Snowpake, whatever you want to call it for um, making corrections on parts. Pretty permanent that, used with care. A nice big eraser, rubber, small sharpener for the small pencil, big sharpener for the big pencil, and it's also got the small one as well, actually, as a double whammy. These are miniature post-it notes which I can stick in parts. My eyesight is pretty rubbish and I wear contact lenses, so I've got a spare lens for each eye in case my lenses fall out. <laughs> for some reason, I've got a quarter inch headphone splitter, I don't know why I've got that, that's probably for when you're sitting in on shows and you need to plug your headphones into the other person to hear what they're hearing. This is useful, this is by BG, this is a super absorbent little wipe that you can put under the pads, takes away all the moisture from the pads if you've got a sticky pad like a sticky G sharp or if you've got a sticky B flat and clarinet or something like that, you can use that to mop up the moisture. These are Yamaha cleaning papers, cigarette paper type thing that you can use to mop up any bubbly, watery keys you've got. Spare mouthpiece patches. In here, I've got an electrical cleaner solvent, fast evaporating for cleaning pads. And then I use these earbuds or Q-tips, which I just dab it in there and then wipe under the key to get rid of any gunk and it doesn't leave any residue and it evaporates really fast. So that's good for if you've got sticky keys. Now if you look at this tiny hook, I think this was from some sort of pipe cleaning kit or something from years ago, but you can use that to hook onto your springs and pull them back if they spring out, that's useful. Spare cork for making repairs. Small scissors to cut the cork. Super glue in case. Now then, you might be wondering why I've got a lighter in the kit. Well. If you very gently put your neck cork underneath the flame of a lighter without setting it on fire or anything like that, it will expand the cork and make the cork bigger to fit your mouthpiece. So that's why I've got the lighter in there. I don't smoke. Sandpaper for making corks smaller, obviously. Nice compact size cork grease there. Various sizes of elastic bands in case a spring goes. Tweezers to handle corks when I'm making repairs. Useful to have a pair of tweezers. Obviously, selection of jeweler's screwdrivers, which are useful for, well, obviously, putting screws in. <laughs> and then I've got a few mini cable ties in case of bigger repairs. That is a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. The last thing I can find lurking down the bottom here is a battery for the Snark. And that is pretty much it for all the stuff that's in this little pencil case. So I hope you enjoyed this off the cuff video, looking at all the bits and bobs and equipment I've got inside my case. If you're enjoying the channel, please do subscribe and click the notifications bell. That way you'll be notified when I release new videos when they come out. So that's it, I'll see you next time on Get Your Sacks Together. Later Roonies.